Coach Louie Thompson. Play, uh, coached at uh, Lincoln County for a long time and uh, played for Coach Bear Bryant uh, down in uh, Tuscaloosa. Talk to me a little bit about playing for the Bear. Well, that was, that was quite an experience. Uh, coming out of Lebanon, I was a big Tennessee fan. Got recruited, ended up going to Alabama. And now, many years later, I'm still glad that I went. Uh, you know, I, I was fortunate enough to be around some pretty good players back in that day. Joe Namath, uh, Kenny Stabler, Steve Sloan, uh, just to name two or three of them that were pretty decent. And uh, Of course, Ray Perkins played on that team. Perkins was on the team. He was uh, with me, but we won two national championships, uh, 64 and 65. And uh, Coach Bryant, I think the greatest thing I heard about Coach Bryant, to ask Duffy Doherty at Michigan State about Coach Bryant, he said, well, he's the only one, and I know, that can take his and beat yours or take yours and beat his. And yeah, also, just, just a good coach. Yeah, he's you? just a good coach. He taught me a lot about life other than football, and I still use it every day. When you were recruited, how did you, how did you, how did the phone call take place? <laughs> were you, you were in Lebanon, so how did that, how did that kind of go down? Take I, us through that. Well, I didn't have a phone at home. Okay. So, so they, Mainly they had to contact me at school, and uh, I had a buddy of mine that had a phone, and uh, – Sometimes they'd tell me they'd be calling me like Wednesday night at eight o'clock. So you would go down to the neighbor's house, and, and, and Coach Bryant would call you would in. Call me, yeah, he'd call me. Or uh, who uh, was your who was your recruiting? Uh, who they signed you to? Uh, Dude Hennessy was the okay the guy that recruited me at Alabama. He's, I don't know if you remember that name or not. Okay, and then. Uh, you know, that was, that was a long time before internet and everything else. Back right, then. So right. It was a lot different then. And there was no video of you. I mean, how did they know that they wanted Co Louis Thompson at that time? <laughs> well, my high school coach, Clifton Triple, at Lebanon, played for Coach Bryant at Kentucky. Okay. Uh, and ended, ended up coming back to Middle Tennessee. Uh, a can old his, connection. Yeah, played his last two years. So there was a connection there that uh, they uh, sent some film in on me when I was a junior, and then they started recruiting me my senior year. And uh, the quarterback at that time when you first got there was? Joe Namath. And then when you left, it was? It was Kenny Stable. And Kenny, of course, came from Foley, Alabama, nicknamed the Snake for his greatest running in high school because he slithered around. But he was a character, wasn't he, Coach? He, he was definitely a character. I got some tales I can't tell about him. But uh, he, <laughs> he, was, he was definitely a great teammate and, uh, you know, a great player, as evident, you know, played for, I guess, Oakland. The uh, two a days, right. the two a days that uh, Coach Dye talked about, they get you in the gym. Talk a little bit about it, running around in that hot gym and, and, and being a student, and just thinking, am I going home? Because a lot of kids left in the middle of the night, didn't they, Coach? Oh yeah, I had uh, I had my roommate left. I didn't know my roommate for about four weeks. Uh, there was a new one that moved in, be out, in and out. Anyway, uh, we had quite a few. I think we had, I think we had like eighty-five or eighty-seven freshmen when I reported. And four years Were all those on scholarship? No, no, no. Okay. No. There was walk-ons, and uh, I think they signed about 60 back then. Okay. And uh, my senior year, I think we had 13 of them left. So, by attrition, Coach Bryant would kind of – Weed you out. Weed you out. If you didn't want to – if you, you had to be a man to stay aboard. If you didn't want to be there, you were on the bus. Well, and, and, and so many great stories about him. And Joe Namath was the only one that ever got to go up in the tower, uh, <laughs> as they said. But you wasn't there when he came in as a freshman because they said he came in, he had a cigarette hanging out of his mouth. And Howard Schnellenberger was the guy that went up and actually got him and stayed up there for three or four days. I guess you've heard the story many a time. Oh, yeah. Well, I think he was supposed to go to Maryland. Couldn't get in. Couldn't get in. With, uh, with his grades or ACT or whatever it was. And uh, so – the coach called Coach Snellenberger and told me he had a kid that was a pretty good quarterback, and somehow they got it worked out. He got the what are you doing now with your time, Coach? I play golf about uh, eight days a week. What are you about? Are you about eight under? <laughs> I'm close to even far right now. Are you uh, really? Yeah, we, I play uh, quite a bit. I got a few guys that we play, and we'll go around different places uh, there in Fayetteville. Huntsville's got a couple of courses, Bear Trace, yeah. Henry Horton. Yeah. So we yeah. have, we have uh, Saddle What's Creek. What's the one? I, I played the one up at the top of the mountain. It's Eagle. What is it? Where you go up the top there at Huntsville, you wind up the, the top. ledges. Yeah. Yes, played that in about two weeks ago. Boy, That's you lose nice your boat. Yeah, it's a yeah. nice one. Oh, I, I went, nice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 
Coach, we can't thank you enough for coming on. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Louis Thompson, he played at Alabama. He coached at Lincoln County. How many state championships did you win down at Lincoln County? We were there uh, two. We won one in 90. Uh, we beat Oakland in the first round of the playoffs. <laughs> 13 to 12. Coach Creasy yeah. sitting right here with me. Well, too. here's the other one. 93, we beat Riverdale in the state championship game. I'm going to let Coach Marcus Creasy Park. talk to I'm, Let's get this moment. One sec. Talk to the coach here. I have a, ask him a couple of questions. Coach, Coach Thompson, I'm glad you joined Stork, man. He's uh, He's got all the good questions. I, I know a lot about you. Uh, but that 93 championship, what was the score? It was 20 to uh, 7. 20 to 7. And now you're getting to watch your grandson. He's over here coaching at Oakland. We're glad we're glad we got to hire him. And, and he's getting to beat Riverdale tonight. <laughs> That's good, too. <laughs> uh, what's funny about it, I told my wife, she said, uh, she said, I want to go up and see Riley coach at Oakland. I said, are you telling me I'm going to go watch Riverdale and Oakland, two of our fierce rivals, and I'm going to walk in with my Lincoln County hat on. I said, somebody will attack me going in the gate. And she just laughed. But he is a, he's a fine individual. I think he will make a great coach, and I appreciate you taking a chance on him. Well, he's a young guy, and he's really smart. Now, I, I, I've seen him do a lot of things that most coaches can't do, especially as young. But I thought for sure you would talk him out of coaching football. Well, I tried to. Uh, he, I think that's his passion. That's what he wanted to do. Well, and I told him he might as well go coach with the best. Well, he's <laughs> – well, maybe he'll get there someday. Maybe he'll get there. Yep, but uh, one more thing. I think uh, I think he's uh, pretty sharp now. Does he get that from – your side of the family? Well, of course, or? he gets it from his granddaddy on, <laughs> on his mama's side. So, you know. Yes. We had six at Lincoln County. That's six pretty, pretty Mr. Footballs. Hey. That's pretty good and back in the day. And who else? My, with the other, Kelly Holcomb? Yeah. Kelly? No, Kelly wasn't Mr. Football. We had Antonio Manning okay. uh, was back in, uh, I don't know, 97, I believe. David Grogan in 93 was a heck of a player. My son, Jay Thompson, in 97, was an offensive lineman and a defensive man. Where did he go on to play? He went at UTC, played there for four Jay years. Jackson, he was a mock Right, he was a mock. He's coaching now at GW Long down in uh, uh, Skipperville, Alabama, right out of Ozark there. Right. And uh, had uh, Lamar Devins and Michael Edmiston. Uh, so we had six of them that uh, were fortunate enough to do it. Well, I tell you what, we're getting to coach against Kelly Holcomb, and his son plays at Riverdale, and – He's a heck of a competitor still to this day. Uh, he was in the day, and he still is. I played golf with him about seven, eight, ten years ago, and I can tell you, all he wanted to do was beat me on the <laughs> golf course. So he, he's something else. He was a good player, and I think he will turn into a good coach. Oh yeah, yeah, he is. Uh, he is a good coach. Heck of a quarterback for you. Uh, what what did y'all do? Y'all go to the championship two years with him, or just one? Just one. 90, yeah, when I went in, he was. Uh, a junior, and uh, that was in 89, and then 90, he was a senior. And so y'all had a barn burner with Oakland, 13-12? 13-12 in the first round of playoffs. We beat them 44-6 in the uh, regular season, and they came in. Coach Ossett was there. He had them fired up that night. We couldn't do anything right. Of course, his coaching is what got them there, but uh, they fumbled a two-point conversion oh, with six wow. seconds to go. Oh, and that's sick. We made them thirteen to twelve. That's and we, sickening, and y'all went on and won we the went whole on thing. Won the state, sure did. Yep. Coldest yep. night I ever was was two thousand seven. I was down there with Sonny. We was in that first <laughs> second round. Second, second round. round. Second round. Yeah. Smart. Well, I mean, it's cold as fire. It, well, was. I mean, it was. Real cold, but it, uh, we was, got out of there with the wind. We like yeah, we, knocked we, us around a little. Yeah, we tried to turn the heat down in the pit, but it didn't work. Out. <laughs> <laughs> the pit. Have you ever coached it? I've I've been to the pit one time. It's an awesome environment. Of course, you know, a lot of it goes back to a lot of his teams and uh, the talent and all the guys. And you know, it's just a special place down there. It is. We had uh, we had several games that we had that it sold out. And I remember we played Oak Ridge in the uh, quarterfinals in '90, and we had uh, the gate was fifty-five thousand dollars. That's when tickets were five dollars. So we had wow. eleven. We had 11,000 people that paid. 
That's what kind of got you on, isn't it? Well, that's right. That's that. right. And that's not even counting the 3,000 people that snuck in here. That's <laughs> you right. Got that right. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to give this back to Stuart. Keep up okay. good work. And, man, it's good to talk to a legend. All right. Thank you, Coach. Good luck.